guys, it's Mrs. Clace with your kindergarten lesson for this week. Um, I just love this simple drawing of a tiger. I think he's really cute and he is based on simple shapes, which is something we work on a lot in kindergarten is how to draw things with just using simple shapes. So if you look at them, you see things like a half circle and a triangle and just a big circle. We have a lot of our simple shapes that we're using just to make this cute tiger's head. So let's start, we're gonna to draw together. When we're all done with doing the drawing, I want you guys to use your creativity and decide how you wanna color it. So if you wanna make it tiger colors, like I did with you know yellows and oranges, that's great, and black, or you can make it any colors you want. So really the fun thing about, I think coloring is kind of going off and doing it your way that makes you happy. So I just wanted to tell you that before we get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do if we're finding simple shapes is see that we're starting with a big head to start with. So we're just starting with a big circle head on our paper and it's gonna fill up a lot of the paper. So I'm just gonna go ahead with a black crayon. You might wanna start with a pencil at home in case you wanna erase, but if I draw in pencil, it'll be really hard for you guys to see. So I'm just doing mine with a crayon. So I started with a big circle. If it's a little wonky, then who cares? It's all right. Um, after you get your circle, just add your tiger's neck down on both sides. It could be thinner or thicker, it doesn't really matter, but it's just two lines down from the circle. The next thing we're gonna add is this semicircle for his nose. And that's pretty big, guys. If you look at it, it it's like right there in the middle and it's almost maybe the size of my finger. So don't make it teeny tiny. So I'm gonna do a, a semicircle right here. And then I got a nice big nose and it's really cute. It looks like we're kind of zoomed in on his nose. Okay, after you do that, we're gonna do these lines that connect from the top of the head down to the edge of the semicircles. And those are just gonna make that stripe down the front of his head. If your lines get a little wiggly jiggly, that's okay. Or if they don't meet perfectly, that's all right too. It's just a stripe on a tiger. So it doesn't have to be perfect. Then we're also gonna draw these two lines down where his mouth is gonna go. And I'm gonna do those like this. They're a little slanted, my friends. You can see that they don't go straight down. It's a little bit slanted but you do it how you wanna do yours. Okay, let's add some ears on this guy. So I'm gonna go up to the top and we're gonna use semicircles for the ears, one and two, to give him that little inside. And then I'm gonna go over to the other side and do that again. Now, you know what, boys and girls, it is hard to be perfectly symmetrical when you do stuff like that, meaning keeping them exactly the same size, but oh well, look, Mrs. Clay's are exactly the same size. No big deal. Okay. So it's starting to look a little bit like a tiger now. Um, the triangles that you add to his face really help it make it look like he's got those stripes coming in around his face. So take your pencil or crayon or whatever you're working with and you're just gonna make some triangles. They almost wrap around his face, right? So we don't see the bottom line of the triangle. It's almost like making these like this around his face. I'm gonna make them nice and big so I have lots of room to color. I can make them as colorful as I want. And I'm just adding some stripes. Up top, maybe I just add one or two little guys. It could be one, it could be two, up on the top of his head, whatever you like. Okay, so what are we still missing, my friends? We need to add these sweet eyes. Now, we know in the classroom, whenever there's eyes, everyone says, Mrs. Clays, Mrs. Clays, can I draw the kind of eye I want to? Yes, of course you can. So I like this just simple eye on him. It kind of makes him look sort of like he's smiling in a way or he's very peaceful and happy. So I gave him just those closed. It's like he's got his eyes closed. If you want to do a different eye, be my guest. Do it however you want. And I'm just going to give him that sweet little smile. If you want to add a little tongue sticking out, you can. I know you guys always like to add those details. That's totally up to you. And last thing before you color, let's add some whiskers. So here we go, we got whiskers, oh my goodness. So boys and girls, once you're ready to start coloring, you color in these shapes the way you want. You can give him a background, maybe he's peeking out in some leaves, maybe you just want a blue background, I don't know, but have fun coloring him and I miss you guys all and I can't wait to hear about your tigers.